this works so i think i have to use my special screwdriver here so let's remove the keyboard which one is for the keyboard we have this for the keyboard keyboard this is keyboard too i think i need myself a new screwdriver or maybe new screws because this ones have become way too loose and they're not even holding so which other one is for the keyboard let's see so we have this this and I believe this here I'm not wrong. let's just try that out remove it mm-hmm then we're going to turn this around and because this is HP Elite Book 8440P, so let's see if we can remove that keyboard now. And which side is that? Sorry, it's an old laptop, it's one side that is still stuck. It means there's a screw that is not being removed. Mm -hmm. Is there another one? No, this is, I think this one here. This here. Okay. we can remove the keyboard so if you want to replace your RAM you have this compartment right here so this is one of those uh, this the parts that come with the RAM put inside so this one here has a 4 GB of RAM I think I think it's 4 GB of RAM yes and um, if I wanted to upgrade it i have an extra slot slot on the outer side so that's on the inner side just you don't have to like break down everything you just need to remove the keyboard which you can also replace if you have a new one and um try to clean things like this fan here if you want to maybe replace the cmos battery which normally plays a part in the memory so that's basically what you do with the inner side so right now i do not want to remove this i just wanted to confirm it's there because i'm trying to fix it with a different one so we put that back the keyboard is pretty old so this is just for test purposes then i'll put this back here it does have these hooks for the keyboard so just push them back push back and push this back then I'll cover this, go to the back, and now I'll tighten these screws that I had removed, I had adjusted earlier or loosened. So I'll adjust this here. Don't worry about my homemade screwdriver. I can't seem to find the one that I've been using. It works with this. Then I'm going to fix that. Now, if you want to put an extra RAM, you have this here. This is the place where you have your extra RAM slot. So let's just open that and have a look at it. So it's almost the same as what we had in there, but it's on the outer side. So you don't have to remove the keyboard or expose the motherboard every time you want to replace this here. So if you have your RAM, you just put it in there and then you put this back. Like it's supposed to be and tighten the screw okay now the other thing that you need to replace here is the hard disk this is the hard disk compartment it has two screws let's just um, loosen these two I don't know if this is going to work yes it will be. 
luckily it's working now you should try as much as you can to use good screwdrivers because this somehow makes the screws become worn out or maybe remove the grip so it will become useless after a few attempts so don't do this make sure you have the correct screwdriver they are usually screwdriver sets that have all sorts of sizes and shapes that you can try out so this is the hard disk compartment for this uh, computer or this laptop so we'll remove this now it doesn't have a hard disk right now but this is just the hard disk cover so this is our hard disk we're going to try and put in here so let's see put this here and then we put that back in there. oh let's just put that without the cover and then we can put the cover in later so that goes in there it's nice and smooth then we put this here and tighten that now they this this um there's something that you should be adding here but i do not have the screws i don't know where they went to like i told you before this is a laptop that i haven't used in a while so there is these two bolts that are supposed to fix this and make it steady but with this part here this is the one that you must have so that it does not move around because it holds it in position using this cover now once you have your disk fixed you can put this back and close this i think maybe i'm missing something i think maybe it's this two that hold the you know that I, I thought i needed but just something to find out when you're replacing your discs and now the last thing that we have here is the network card maybe not the last let's say the second last thing because we also look at the battery so this wi-fi or network card is on the outer side also so you can easily replace it or find for if it has a problem you can easily remove this cover and check it out so you have that and that so let's have a look you, if you want to remove it of course they're just balls and you can also just remove these clips here and replace or check out what's wrong with it and there's not so much to look at when it comes to that so <clears throat> let's just put this back on for the network card you must know how okay this is how it goes in and then you tighten this bolt here okay that's, that didn't go in well as I expected so we kind of have to remove it good 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 okay the last thing I would say is the battery this battery is easy to remove you just need to pull this here if you pull it one hand pulls this to the right and you pull that out then you'll have your battery and you can replace it you should always try to look at the battery specifications and the maybe the input and output power capabilities so that you ensure when you're buying your battery you have the right one you don't fry up your laptop's motherboard and for this pc model it does have a sim card slot it's been a while since i last used it so you have to basically remove this battery first then you can access the sim card slot it's even labeled as sim if you can see this i don't know how clear this is we have let me move that closer if you check down there we have sim so 
that's where you place your sim card and you can download mobile broadband broadband uh, drivers and use your laptop for texting so that's basically what you do if you want to fix your HP Elite 844P I don't know how these other models have the keyboard structure but this is how this one here is done and you can now easily use your your PC if you would like to help me buy a, a screwdriver on top using this buy me a coffee from the link to, uh, given in the description below you can share this video you can ask any questions you have any other troubleshooting issue with your laptop of any model and i would be ha uh, happy to help you figure out what you need to do to have it fixed thanks for watching and see you in the next video where we're going to have fun